Hi, Dad. Congratulations. Congratulations. We're so glad that you're retiring. That's a big accomplishment. Dad, congrats on retiring. What an achievement. Hi, Grandpa. I think it is so cool that you're retiring. Hey, Dad. I wanted to congratulate you on your retirement. Congratulations. Brother Niagara, happy retirement, my brother. Hi dad, when I think about you, I think of a couple of phrases. Dead fish don't swim upstream. Don't let fear make your decisions. Yo, yo, yo. What's up my homie, my brother, Nagwen? If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have made it through school, my brother. Happy retirement. Mark Nigren, you have a special place in our heart. You are the only teacher's name that we remember from our whole four years of college. Hey brother Nigren, it's Jake Fulmer, your favorite student. Just wanted to tell you congratulations on your upcoming retirement. Hi, Mark. Congratulations. Brother Nigren, congratulations on your retirement. Um, I'm super excited for you and for your family. Hey, Brother Nigren. Uh, thankful for this chance that I have to tell you congratulations on your retirement after 20 years at the university. I can't believe the time is finally here. Hello, Marky. This is Randy Thompson. I need to speak slower and more clearly because you're old and retiring, it sounds like. Hey, you'll never retire, man. You're going to be pushing something somewhere all the time. Hello, and happy retirement. Hey, Brother Nigran, just wanted to make this video to say thank you so much for the impact that you've had on me and many, many, many lives that you've had the opportunity to teach. Mark Nigren, man, nothing but trouble from that guy. <laughs> um, no, I have great memories of taking uh, Brother Nigren's classes and uh, being able to interact with him and his family. Um, as a professor, he was a champion of entrepreneurship, which greatly impacted my life. And uh, certainly the content and the courses that he developed and shared and uh, was so impactful on me and as I aspire to be successful in business. Um, the IBC program is probably the most popular business course on, uh, on campus and very few people know that Mark Nigren is the father of that program. So I'm very grateful and fortunate to uh, know Mark Nigren and to uh, know his family and to uh, have shared so many great experiences uh, with a great man. I remember sitting down in class the first day and to my surprise uh, there was homework that had been due that I had no idea about. Gratefully Brother Nigren was kind enough to give us all a couple extra days to turn in that first homework assignment which really helped me start off college on the right foot and, and not get behind right from the get-go. I'm grateful for that act of kindness, along with all the leadership you provided in the Entrepreneur Society and the other classes and interactions I had with him throughout my time at BYU-Idaho. Thank you, Brother Nigren. I hope you have a great retirement and appreciate all that you did for me. There are lots of things I learned from Brother Nigren. As I was thinking about it, two things distinctly came into mind. One, he taught me to always hold people to really high standards. Whether it was us as his teacher's assistants or his students, he always expected really great work from us, and if something wasn't done correctly, he made sure that we rectified it to make sure that things were done properly. Another thing I really like about Brother Nigren is his sense of humor, and how he uses his sense of humor um, in all aspects of things he does. When he's teaching or communicating with us, I remember there were students who created a book of, I think they called Brother Nigranisms, all of his funny quotes and the things he'd say. And one thing I think of lots of times is that he was telling a story about, uh, I think it was read from the Wall Street Journal or something, he said, yeah, the Wall Street Journal is where I get all of my news, that and the scroll, which is the BYU Idaho newspaper, and it was pretty funny, and I've always thought about that. But I've learned a lot from Brother Nigra, and I was so fortunate to work for him for the four years, and congratulations on 21 wonderful years, and I hope you enjoy your retirement. You were a mentor to us, a friend to us, and you still are, and like Amy said, you were the only teacher that, when we came to BYU-Idaho a couple of trips, 
were the only teacher that we looked up or even really had a desire to look up. And as we were role playing and trying to think of things to say for this video, we were laughing and crying. Well, I was crying because I'm a girl, but we were just loving the reminiscing of all those great memories that you have for us. We just want to say congratulations on your retirement. Good luck in your endeavors going forward. And thank you. Happy retirement, Dad. You made it all the way to the end. You are a retired man. You are definitely my entrepreneurial hero, and you are what inspired me to, to love business and to want to be an entrepreneur and, and really go the route that I've gone my entire life. I've always looked up to you and, and wanted to follow that path. Speaking of heroes, I have a quick, quick, super quick story. I remember when I was in the fourth grade, um, we were at Smith Park celebrating graduating elementary school, and I remember Diana's uh, older grade having to be there, the big eighth and ninth graders, and we uh, were just having a little bit of fun, and we started squirting them, and one of them got really angry, and uh, he started shoving all of us little fourth graders to the ground. And I remember um, after I got shoved down, I looked up and I saw Dad running full speed. <laughs> And uh, he went and shoved that kid to the ground. Um, and I remember looking up and just thinking, wow, my dad is a hero. Thanks for being a, a hero to all of us. I think you've, you've been that example in the gospel and in life and in business to, to hundreds and, and you know, thousands of students and to, especially to your children and to me. And, and I really appreciate that. You know, you've always done what a man's got to do. And, uh, we love you so much and hope you really enjoy your retirement. Love you. One of the most impactful things that I remember from you as a professor is just um, your great attitude um, and instilling in all of us, including me, a belief that we could um, become and do anything that we wanted um, if we just set our minds to it, if we believed in ourselves and stuck close to the Lord. I've always looked up to you as um, a mentor, um, a friend, a professor, and also in the state presidency um, up on campus. And uh, just really appreciate your example. You're, you're one of my favorite people. Every time I see you, um, it's always a, a great time. And, and um, I just, I really look up to you and I wanted to tell you congratulations. Um, hope you have a great retirement. And I'm really grateful for the way that you've impacted my life. I wish you all the best. Thanks. but I took this entrepreneurship class from you and it opened my mind up to what was possible. It opened my mind up to where there was a whole nother world of possibility out there that I could do something beyond just going and getting a job. And I loved the idea of creating my own job. So I did. So I went and created my own job. But the, the point that I wanna make is that I did not know that this was a possibility until I took your class. Though I only had one class from you, uh, you were incredibly influential on me because of a very important time where I learned that I could do this on my own. I could go and create a business. I could go and do this. And when I took your class, the biggest thing that I learned is if, if someone else can do it, then I can do it too. If someone else can do it, then I can do it too. And it opened up my mind. And I just want to thank you for that. I'm so grateful that I ran into you at church and got to say that. And then your wife asked me to go and make this video, which was uh, very kind of her. Um, it's very cool that she's doing this and asking people to, to send these types of videos to you. But I just want to say thank you and let you know that you have made a true difference in my life and many, many other lives. Thank you so much and good luck in whatever's next. A uh, lot of exciting things to come. All right, thanks. Bye. If there's one thing I would say about Brother Nigren is there's nobody with more charisma or more passion about an entrepreneurial spirit. Um, oftentimes I've thought about a few of the things in his classes. I've tried to question it. Most of the time he's always been right. And uh, I, if there was one thing I would say about Brother Nigren is that 
no one has brought more passion to teaching, especially in the entrepreneurial business world, than Brother, Brother Nigren. He's nonstop entrepreneurial, and he will be missed for what he has done. Many a student has been inspired by his thoughts and his feelings and his actions. And for that, I say thank you for your time, and I hope you enjoy your retirement. I took a class from Brother Nigren, and it was such an amazing class. It uh, helped me start my business with my Lovely Locks here. It's called lovelylocks.com. And uh, it's never been as successful as from when I took that class. It taught me all about business, getting out there, getting out of my comfort zone. And now I'm going worldwide. So thank you, Brother Nigren. I just wanted to say um, thank you for all that you did for me and for all of the rest of the students up there at BYU-Idaho slash start off at Rick's College. It was so much fun to be um, part of that transition and Scythe has my fondest memories. I am so grateful for you and for your willingness to push for it, um, being able to rub shoulders with, with other companies and with other people, um, students from other Colleges was so much fun, and it was such a great experience. Um, it was so much fun to go to Seattle, to New York City, and down to Kansas City. I fell in love with the Kansas City area while we were there, and we now live here in this area, like 45 minutes from Brian and Amy, um, with our seven kids, and soon to be eight. Crazy. Uh, thank you so much for your infectious smile. You have a smile that goes from ear to ear and just makes life fun. Um, my other classes, I remember going into them, they would be stuffy and boring. And going into your class, it was always fun. You would tear into the room uh, with your jokes and your experiences, and you were always just a blast. Thank you so much for that. And thank you also for um, your your experiences with Chick-fil-A. I must say, every time I go to a Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A or past one now, which is often living here in the Midwest, I think about you and I have such fond memories of, of you and of your time, talent, experience. Thank you for all of it. And I hope you enjoy your retirement, but know that BYU-Idaho will be worse off because you are not there. Have a good one. Bye. And that's what I learned from Mark. That's what I learned from you um, at school is roll up the sleeves, go to work, get it done, do things the right way, ask the right questions, and apply what you learn. And that was one of the most joyful things about being in your classes and learning entrepreneurship was I was able to apply them in my businesses that I ran concurrently with school. So anyways, um, I look up to you a lot. I've always respected and admired you. Um, I think you're a great man and it's, it's, you know, I'm thankful that you were, that, that you sacrificed to serve and to teach. And I'm definitely a benefactor of that. So, muchas gracias. Thanks very, very much. Um, I, I wish you best of luck in whatever you decide to do. I hope we stay in contact. I love hearing um, about you and your family and the updates and the things you guys do. So, thanks again for everything. You're going to be greatly missed on campus. Um, and I hope that you continue, I hope that you continue in your new endeavor with the same zeal and enthusiasm that you've had for teaching entrepreneurship. Um, I know there's many, many students, hundreds if not thousands that uh, feel the same way I do. We're very thankful for all the time and effort that you put into teaching classes and uh, the extracurricular stuff you did with Scythe. Those were some of my favorite memories from school. It's been almost 14 years since I left, but there hasn't been a lot of time that's gone by where I haven't thought about the different service projects that we did, the trips, the competitions, and the real-life service opportunities that we had to uh, solve real problems and get that real-world experience. So thank you so much for that. I'm really glad that we ran into each other in the airport all those years ago and that we've been able to stay in touch ever since. I'm excited to see what, uh, what you've got in store for the next 
next 20 or 30 years, but uh, I'm glad you'll be down in Arizona where we live, and so we'll have to get together for some pickleball or some, or some tacos somewhere. Um, congratulations again, and thank you for everything. Brother Nygren, congratulations on retirement. It finally came. I'm sure you're more than happy to finally call it quits. Um, you were a big part of my experience at BYU-Idaho, and I sure appreciate all that you ever did for me, and, and I really enjoyed the memories that I had while serving with you up at BYU-Idaho. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Brian Singleton. Uh, I took a few classes from Brother Nygren, but most of my time was spent in the three years that I st served in Scythe or Students in Free Enterprise with Brother Nygren. Uh, he was the advisor for that, and we went to places like New York City and Seattle and Orlando and Kansas City and Park City and many other places that we had just a great time with. The uh, experience that I want to share with you today, though, was when we went to Washington, D.C. We'd been working really hard on a lot of projects, and Brother Nygren said that he wanted to treat me and uh, Brian Hansen, who was also on this trip with us. So one night he said, We're gonna, I'm going to take you out to a nice dinner. And he chose Ruth Chris Straight Steakhouse. Uh, we kind of knew about it, but we didn't know a ton about it. And so uh, when we went in there, we were surprised to find that there was no prices on the menu. Uh, we also saw that everything was a la carte. We thought, uh, and I remember Brother Nigren saying, well, how expensive could it be for three guys to enjoy a steak dinner? Well, when the bill came back, his face told everything. It was a lot more expensive than he had anticipated. And he said, um, guys, I'm going to need you to help out with the meal here tonight. So I believe we had pitched in 20 bucks or something like that into the meal. And uh, while we were uh, putting our cash into the envelope, Brother Nigren went first and put his cash in there. And then he gets up and says, guys, for the price that we just paid for that meal, I ain't leaving a tip. Hurry and get out of here. And so uh, he puts the money in and he runs out of the restaurant. And so Brian Hansen and I are hurriedly putting our money into the uh, cashier envelope uh, as the waiter comes back to our table. And we get out of the restaurant and Brother Nigren is just dying of laughter that we, we had stiffed the waiter and it looked like it was Brian Hansen and I's fault that uh, he'd been stiffed. Um, that may not be a morsel of uh, unbelievable knowledge, but the thing that I do remember about Brother Nigrid always is that he was always laughing and having fun no matter what he did. And uh, if that can't be uh, taken uh, as, a, as a good lesson, I don't know what else can be. He was always a great example to us uh, in laughing, but also in spiritual matters. He was always uh, a leader that way. Thank you, Brother Nigrin. I hope you enjoy your retirement and God bless. I think BYU-Idaho and especially BYU-Idaho students have been incredibly blessed to have Mark here as one of the faculty members. When I think about Mark, I think of a true entrepreneur, which is kind of unique and interesting in, a, in an organization that can be filled with bureaucracy. Despite many years passing, I still see entrepreneurship in Mark and maintaining his reality, which has been an incredible blessing to our students. One of, the, one of the things that's happened for me personally whenever I travel across the country for expeditions, the one common denominator that always exists is people asking me about how Mark Nigren's doing. And, and they struggle with other people's names, but they always remember Mark because he's an incredible advocate for students. Not just, um, not just with teaching business principles, but teaching with his heart and loving and I will always be indebted to Mark and grateful to know him and respect him. Hey, thanks for the memories. I brought some props here to help us remember some of those things. Like I have uh, a basketball, we went to some basketball games, football, you know, we played some football. Actually, no, we just watched some football. And uh, you can't ever forget this racket. Remember that we did some racquetballing? It was great. I thumped on you so bad. Maybe, you know, I, I gave you a little bit of a chance with this crappy racket that I had here. But Oh, by the way, I have your tennis shoe. I, I need to return that one to you. Oh, and you can't forget the skein. Whoa. I left you in the dust a few times there, didn't I? <laughs> anyway, we had some great times, didn't we? 
uh, I hope that you're going to have a great retirement. Please remember me and I'll, oh, 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 one last thing. Remember all of our food trips and our containers, you know, we go there and we ate, we eat food and we just have all kinds of fun. And talk and just have all kinds of fun. Remember that? Good time, huh? Alrighty. Well, you take care. I love you, man. Have fun. All right. Well, Mark, uh, we're going to use two words to describe you. Uh, we'll start with Dean. Mark, you are caring and awesomely char charismatically funny. <laughs> All right. Mark, you're dedicated and a lot of fun. Dedicated and a lot of fun. Mark, you're genuine in that you care enough about your students to be the real deal in everything that you do and say thanks. Michael. Mark. Uh, you scared my kid a lot, and <laughs> you were super direct, and I appreciate that. There's only two words that describe you, Mark. Mav, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, I haven't known you long, but it's been a pleasure. I think you're insightful and very passionate. Mark, you are energetic beyond anything and persistent. Hey, can you record this for me? Hey, Mark, I think you are a maverick and, and an innovator and energetic and enthusiastic because all my words were taken. Congratulations on your retirement. Aloha, Mark. Monroe Murdoch here from the 2000 to 2001 era of Rick's college time. And I am filming the short video from Puerto Vallarta in Mexico here on a short vacation with my wife and some family and I was really excited to receive a Facebook message asking to make a little video for, for you for your retirement and I was really glad that somehow they knew to contact me and that I had connection with you over the years so I'm really grateful to have the opportunity to create a short video for you and you know there's a lot of things I could say and I just it's hard to believe it's been about 20 years since I was at Rick's College and it was such a cool experience for me, um, attending school there and just enjoying the time studying communications, but also realizing that business was an area of interest for me. My father's a businessman, entrepreneur, and I didn't really foresee myself going into business, but I think after my experience with your classes and with the students in free enterprise organization and being able to be a part of that and working with you and with you know the other participants in that group, um, in that club, was really neat and it sort of set me on a little bit of a different path I think that helped as I went off to BYU Hawaii and got my uh, bachelor's degree in business and eventually got my master's in business from Utah Valley University and today uh, you know a little over two years ago we launched our Hawaii real estate brokerage after working for other companies for a few years and and so it's been an interesting adventure and you know I just admire and respect you in a lot of different ways. I know we haven't really been in the best contact over the years, but we've sort of kept in touch off and on. But I just really appreciate it and have admired your optimism, you know, your positive energy, your fun personality, and just the way that you gave us as students the freedom and space to do our thing and to kind of learn from you and you kind of guided and directed us, but we really had to do the work and to travel with Saif and to go to Chicago and do some of those other things we did with the competitions. and I. I don't have the greatest memory as far as just like remembering all the details, but what memories I do have obviously are positive and, and fun and that I do appreciate. And so I just wish you the a happy retirement and I think it's certainly well-deserved and I hope you have some wonderful things planned with your time. And I, again, you know, look up to you and respect you and I hope that someday I might be able to have an opportunity to also give back in that way and to also, you know, teach and serve and help and kind of inspire those of younger generations as I want to have more experience in business and have more to offer in that area. So I just appreciate that and I hope that you have a wonderful and fun celebration for your retirement. And I just want to thank you again. And if you're ever in Hawaii or ever have any questions about anything in Hawaii, be sure to hit us up and we'll be happy to help, of course. And um, I hope that you can find a lot of fun and enjoyable things to do uh, with your extra time that you'll now have 
And so thank you again for the opportunity and thank you again for being a great example and a positive influence in my life and have a wonderful 2020. Aloha. Everyone loved dad's class. I even hear all the way in Houston or even way in Albania, people had heard of Mark Nigren, the business professor. Extraordinaire. <laughs> and I remembered it was really fun being in your class and you always were you bringing in new stories and different types of media and different you know slides or video clips that made learning really fun and you've had a great career teaching so many wonderful Are you gonna cry? people. She's gonna cry. I know every time I went anywhere it seemed like somebody was always saying oh I had a class from your dad and he was my favorite teacher or favorite professor. He had the funnest classes and just really liked how you had real world experience that you brought into the classroom. Uh, I remember taking several classes from you, all of which were awesome and made a big impact on me during college and my life. Um, especially some of the interpersonal skills classes and self-improvement classes to help be a better student and a better professional. Um, I remember taking entrepreneurship and intro to biz and I think some of the things that always stood out were just how well you taught us to get out of our comfort zones and to um, not be afraid to just go out and try and do and that's part of business and being a businessman is you're gonna have some failures and some ups and downs, but if you don't put yourself out there, then you're never gonna, gonna achieve much. So I think that, that was probably one of the biggest things I took from your classes and it's just, just going out and doing it, going out and trying. I think that is reflective of your personality. You've always been one who's not scared to go out and do it and just try it and give it your all. And that's definitely something I admire about you and look up to and hope that I can continue to develop that skill. Um, so anyway, congrats on your retirement. We're so happy and proud of you and supporting our family all these years and love you. Thank you. Bye. Um, you to me represent inspiration, inspiring people to become better. And recently I learned the Greek translation of inspire is to breathe life into somebody. And I really feel like that is exactly what you've done for me. And I know for so many people, as I was listening to some of the videos that were coming in about how you have impacted their life, it was really amazing to hear how teaching somebody can really change people's lives. Some people's course of their entire life has changed because of what they learned in your classes. What an amazing blessing to have lived a life teaching and inspiring people to live better. Someday I would love to be able to do something like that and teach and inspire and help people to live higher than they um, were before being in your class or from hearing from you. Um, I think you really do have that gift and it's a wonderful, powerful um, gift God has given you. Um, and I have learned as from being your daughter about the importance of setting high goals and becoming your best. Um, and I'm grateful for everything you've taught me and know that you have impacted so many who won't, won't be sharing videos and you won't necessarily hear from, but you have made such an impact. Wherever you go, people are, are coming up to you and thanking you for the things that they have learned from you. And I couldn't agree more. I've learned so much from you and um, you've given me great quotes and books and articles and websites and um, you're just filled with wonderful knowledge and wisdom and things to help um, and lift and um, make my life better. So I'm grateful for that and I'm excited for your next adventures. I love you. I remember taking your class and it was so <clears throat> fun. It was just very fun and upbeat all the time. And even when those pesky little kids got on their laptop, the stupid kids, they just get on there and, and they weren't even paying attention. I mean, the way you deal with all these, these little kids just in there trying to teach that the business that they need to know. And it was awesome. It was fun. I remember that class. I could tell you loved doing it too, even though sometimes you had some things that you had to work through and deal with. But for the most part, it was a blast. You're a great teacher, Dad. Love you. You've done really good over all these years, and you should be very proud of a career well done. Yep. We love you. Amen. I just think you are an amazing teacher. When I've gone to your classes, I really enjoy them because I love to be with you and it's just fun because like not 
like I don't know any granddaughters or girls that have that their grandpa is a teacher or yeah is a teacher at BYU and I just think that is a really good experience to me now that now when I go into the business classes I'm gonna be a pro um, I just I I really enjoy your classes because um, like every time I would come up to your guys' house I would love to go to your classes and you know that um, I just think that I know that your students really like you and you are a super good teacher and one of the qualities that I think you have is you have diligence and also like you are able to mix diligence with fun so you are able to make classes interesting at least for me and like one of the classes you one of the last classes that I went to um, you we did this cool thing where it's like it taught me that most of the people really great people have had hard trials and I just like your lessons because they're um, church based but then they're also super learnative and I think you're an amazing teacher and you're really interactive which I really enjoy and like when you like in a video you said like for um, George Wash, or like just for different people, they had to go through different things, and then it would say who they are. I just really enjoy that, and it's super cool that you're um, retiring. Um, I'm so happy. Thank you so much for letting me come to your classes. Um, yeah, well, bye. I never got to take a class from you, sadly, but I do. Um, remember being on the BYU Idaho campus and oftentimes saying, I'm Diana Nigren, or just having people um, figure out that you're my dad and how fun it would be to have them say, Oh, I love Brother Nigren and he's such a great teacher, and just all the positive things that I always got to hear about you just um, when people would re realize that I was your daughter and that was fun for me. And I also remember being able to go to your classes in Albania and um, just a few times, we went once or twice and I, I would have thought that would have been a, a tough class to teach but I just remember you being up in front and still being able to get people to laugh and get up and do mingling activities and um, just how much I've always admired your style of teaching and getting people engaged and laughing and um, even different times when I've heard you give talks or get up and bear your testimony, I feel that you have a powerful presence and spirit about you where you get up and can make people feel at ease and laughing and having a good time. And yet you also have that um, deep testimony and so much knowledge and that you share that so well with people. And then I also um, got to, in, a, in kind of a little bit of a way, take personal achievement from you. Although it wasn't necessarily your class, I remember taking it while I was in Albania. And so I liked talking to you about it and um, just your love for that personal achievement. And I, I feel like you've lived your life that way. And so that's why I'm really excited you're going to be putting together a personal achievement retirement project for all of us to enjoy, as well as my children. <laughs> no, I was, I was actually thinking about how that did impact me. I remember taking it as a junior and the different lessons and activities that I did and how it, I think it really molded me in those years. So I think it was a neat class to take in high school. Um, and just taking it and talking to you about different things, I think it solidified my love for that. I think you really live and teach well those principles of personal achievement, of being proactive, of setting goals and um, have um, singing your song as David did so well. <laughs> Just those um, wonderful things of um, living your life with purpose and meaning and understanding your talents and um, recognizing how you can bless others. So I am um, grateful that you've been such a great dad and taught me so much and just want to thank you for all those hard um hard work that you've put in and teaching and providing for us through all those years and doing what a man has got to do. So I love you. Bye. Hi Mark. I just wanted to add a couple of things to this retirement video. For you, I think I have heard very often 
for the past 40 years as you go off to work, a little saying that you like to say, a man's got to do what a man's got to do. And now at the end of that 40 years of going to do what you had to do, I think you can now say a man gets to do what he wants to do every morning. So congratulations, you are finally at a time when you can do what you want to do. But I just want to say thank you for all that you have done for these past 40 years in providing for your family. You have done such a great job. You've been a wonderful provider. So thank you. And you've had, it hasn't always been easy. There's been some hard times, some discouraging times, some times when you wanted to give up, but you never did. You just kept getting up, getting dressed, and going at it and providing for us. So thank you so very much. You've done a wonderful job. And you've had a wonderful career. In everything you've done, you've been very successful. So thank you. Also, not only um, you have not only provided for us for the material needs and things that we need, but you've also been such a wonderful spiritual provider. So thank you. Just being a great example and a leader spiritually in your family has been such a blessing for all of us. You are so good at reading your scriptures and saying your prayers and leading out in the way that helps and blesses us and has blessed our family. So thank you for not only providing materially for us, but spiritually. One last thing I just want to say that you have been so successful and I especially think here in the last 21 years as you've taught at BYU-Idaho, you have really blessed the lives of a lot of students. I can't even count the amount of students that have come up to you or to us together and have said something of how you have influenced their life and made it better. And I think all of your children would say the same thing, that you have made such a big difference in their lives. You are a wonderful man and a good, righteous person. So thank you, love you, and may the next 40 years be just as good and even better. Bye.